hope your front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time, and nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. The replay that Next Level Games asked me to look at with him oh. half an hour ago. Where did yes. have you tried to? He's not on. Um... What's it called? Discord. Hey, there he is. He's not on Discord. Did he wake he is up? in Twitch chat. <laughs> hey there, uh, Next there Level he Games. Is. <laughs> he heard your voice and he was like, "Hey, I'm gonna Vikings. pay." I'm gonna pay attention to uh, stream now because I hear calf. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, everyone loves me. Ah, he had Discord muted. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, I heard the daddy voice. Yeah, no, she... it was Batman. I haven't yeah. done the daddy voice yet. Hmm. Okay, go ahead, do it. <laughs> Did you just take your headset off? <laughs> well, okay, Daddy. Do you want to play, Daddy? Please, Daddy, come play with me. <laughs> you done? Yes, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I, I hard hack muted you. Mm hmm. I saw I, that. I got here so the right time. Hey, hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. so aroused right now. <laughs> so, dude, come on. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I just have to clear my voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll let you two get to it, and I'll I'll jump on yeah, again, I guess. I'm going to leave me. Sage. That's a great idea. If um if 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 arm blade arm devil born blade is okay with it, you're you're welcome to stay on and uh, <laughs> commentate on the game too. <laughs> arm blade. <yeah. laughs> Sorry, I just <laughs> I just have a picture of someone with a stump and a. <laughs> Sorry, next level games. Let's go with the other uh, other name while we're at it. <laughs> okay. What's happening right now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just mixing up two of uh, uh, Arm Devil Born Blade next level games and <laughs> oh, names. Right. Yes. Stop having so many names. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry. So thanks for uh, thanks for joining us here. I'll just up your volume a little bit. <laughs> so Born Blade. Uh, yes, darling. <laughs> since I just invited Calf to uh, to help with uh, keeping people busy, do you mind if she stays on for this? <laughs> Yes, yeah, she she can keep as many people busy as she can as she can possibly take. Yes. Oh, that sounds so dirty. That's, well, you know. If the I I mean okay okay this, okay. This okay. is not the dungeon. This is the live stream. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is what people get banned for. <laughs> not yet. But uh, let's keep it that way. This is why I can't have nice things. <laughs> this, yeah. Well, yeah. All right. Mm, let's talk about um, unicorns and fluffy things. Tw uh, Twitch admins, if you're watching this, I'm the streamer. <laughs> These other two are guests. I have no control over what they're saying. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, <clears throat> uh, we were doing a replay thingy. Yes. 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 You are playing as the Kimrys team, is that correct? I was indeed. Okay. Are you in the replay file yourself right now in Cabal Vision? I'm uh, not. Give me two seconds and I will be. All right. One Mississippi. I, I can't see that, right? Can I? Uh, you could if I forward this. Uh, replay oh, file don't, to you. don't. There's, there, there is no use. Last time I was in um, in Blood Bowl and on Voice, it all Ooh, messed up. Oh, good point. Well, let's just say that you're here for uh, for other comic commentary. relief. <laughs> I wouldn't dare call you our Jar Jar. I mean, I would, I would you're, already, you're already our Jabba. That was relief. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hmm. Men snälla, älskade snuttegullsvännen. Sorry. Uh, 
just trying to calm my cat down. By yelling at her? That yes. never fails. It works for me. Right, the replay is now loading. Give me sure a thing. moment. I shall be at the exact spot that you are. Which is just before the kickoff, I believe. Yeah, I'm just doing a setup right now. I'll uh, I'll tell you what turn I'm at and when I'm pausing so that uh, we make sure we're looking at the same thing. Darth Calf Calf. <laughs> That's me when I use this voice and I tell jokes. And I think right. Pan Sopadan is sweet. I'm already in things when you are Sagerino. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see, we're doing setup. This is rookie teams both? Yes, mm -hmm. both rookie teams, both first match of the... Is this uh, uh, League? It is. Alright, this is Rebel? It is, the College League. Ah, right. Okay. So, only one throw rod, but both Blitz Rust. That, that makes a lot of sense to me. It's the, the setup I, I generally tend to uh, to take. Yeah. When, when I play Kenny. Yeah, I mean, yes, you want all the the movement you can get, and hiring the second thrower is still a priority, but you're better off with one sure hands and two block than the other way around. Yes, that was yeah. my thinking as well. <laughs> so, setting up kind of made sense, I guess. Yes, suffering a blitz is never fun, of course. Um, I personally, I would have set it up so that the, it's more eager, eager, easy to get all of your blocks in diagonally. Okay. Because if you're facing your opponent straight on and you roll a push, then you can't easily push him in such a way that you get another block out of it. I see. You're right. Okay. So if you just move everyone one square to the right and then add a player uh, to the left of them, then if your first block's a push, you still get a, a, a follow a second one. If your second block's a push, you still get a second one, etc. Okay. I think so, what I was trying to do with mm -hmm. it was, because the uh, beast has got really stupid, what I was trying to do is like push them, the, the guys either side of him to the left and the right, so that he doesn't isolate have somebody him. to yeah, isolate him. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And of course, I completely buggered up with my first block by knocking the, the plague dude behind the. Oh. So you didn't blitz yet here. Uh, I just watched the end of your turn one after the blitz. And if I'm not mistaken, you tried the pickup before trying the blitz? I did, yes. So the blitz has a 1 in 36 fail chance, assuming you're using your blitz raw. Mm. And the pickup has a 1 in 4 fail chance, including the reroll. Okay. Because you know, the, the, the blitz, two dice with block, that's that's a 1 in 36 fail chance if you don't use a reroll. So the, it's it's very, very low risk. And uh, I, I get that the pickup is important, but you want to you want to prevent that 25% uh, fail chance until you've got the situation secure. So that would be yeah. a big first uh, thing. Okay. That's something to bear in mind, certainly. Mm-hmm. So, also, because you're Kemri, you can't assume that the pickup will work. I mean, sometimes you have to, but in this case, I guess you could have covered that position a bit more. For example, by starting off with the, uh, the Blitz. <coughs> Are you learning, Kaf? Mm, yeah, totally. <laughs> so I, I actually said I'd uh, I'd give Calf uh, uh, some pointers as well, which we seem to never really get around to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Sorry. Don't punish me. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> yes. <laughs> I'll be a good girl, I promise. Lies. Um, so the other problem that you're already suffering because of that failed pickup and the spread out position is that the ball is all the way over here and your uh, two guardians are all the way over there. And that's really a situation that you want to avoid if you can help it. Yes. 
So what yeah. you might do, for example, is free one of them up and then bring the other one further towards where you want where you need to be. I guess you're probably already doing that. Yes. Because they were moving on, forward I'm there. A little ahead of you then. Okay, I'm watching sorry, I'm watching your turn two right now. You just moved the Tomb Guardian the way I suggested. Okay. So now you need to do the blitz. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, pound's good. However, you don't really have a place where you can get really safe, do you? I do not. You might be able to ish if yeah, but really no. <laughs> yeah, but really no. <laughs> yeah, but really no. Kind, yeah. kind of sums it up, really. <laughs> yes. And I think that is largely to do with the way you um you went for the pickup when you still had a couple of safe plays. So this situation still results from an early, early iffy. Hey, Star Wars references are fine, okay, guys? Star Wars references not are when definitely... when you haven't seen the movies. Not having seen Star Wars, on the other hand, is not fine. No. I mean, I my seven year old son just watched uh, episode four. That's that's mm -hmm. how important this stuff is. You don't just. Uh. Who hasn't okay. seen Star Wars? Kath, have you never seen Star Wars? Um, no. Wrong with you, girl. Well, <laughs> would a you lot, like a list? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we're making. Hey, Andy, thank if you for the host, my man. If we're making a list, <laughs> then, uh, then then Star Wars doesn't appear in the top ten. I'm sorry. <laughs> making a list and checking it twice, and we're going to find out if Cack is naughty or nice. There's a spoiler alert in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So and hey, Sunk. <laughs> So looking at, uh, I paused uh, at your uh, Tomb Guardian blocking um, the top right corner here. Okay. Uh, I would have probably used the Tomb Guardian to free up the skeleton. Because uh, that skeleton, uh, Yue, is the only one who can get near to where the ball is. And right now protecting the ball is more important than getting more blocks in the midfield. See okay. what I mean? Yes. So if the Tomb Guardian would block the Rotter, you would have another player to bring south, which you really need. And hitting play again. So, <clears throat> to those of you who just joined me over from Andy's stream, I'm actually doing a quick replay analysis here, uh, together with Mornblade Arm Devil, who's definitely not called Arm Blade Morn Devil. <laughs> <clears throat> Although that does sound kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, and uh, uh, we're going over this replay of him playing his rookie Camry against rookie Nurgle as uh, kind of a, a teaching thingy. I don't think that one die was necessarily worth the reroll either. No, Not sure it was worth wasn't. making though. <clears throat> and uh, we're joined here by uh, by Caffeine Princess, my awesome mod whom you might remember from um, such feature films as uh, <laughs> the, uh, the... Not Star Wars, apparently. <laughs> the uh, the eight-hour uh, <coughs> laugh laughter uh, fest, uh, which was our <laughs> depression talk. Well, it was only the last 90 minutes that were the laugh-a-thon. Laugh <laughs> yeah, those were good, though. Yeah, God. I've never been that close to peeing my pants live before. Live. <laughs> I, I yeah, like that well. addition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So back to your turn. What's the situation? You finally got the ball in your hands and uh, no player next to you, which means you might actually be able to consolidate. Now, I'm very strongly looking at the uh, left flank here. That seems way more accessible than the right. And um, this warrior is a problem-ish. But if you, so the, the beast is um, 
uh, stupid, which means your uh, Tomb Guardian in the center is free to move around. That you might help again. a lot. <laughs> yes, I've paused again. Nice. My, my bad. <laughs> um, so, I mean, this guy's stuck. You're, you're a skilly. Yeah. So you'll want to block off that warrior. And you've got two assists available to do that with, which means you can... If you follow that, you've got a relatively clean path to uh, some kind of safety over on the left flank. Let's see how you manage that. So you start off walking there. That's not bad. At least you've moved. Uh, I would have... I would have. You're starting off with a block. That's a two die with no block skill. One in 81 chance to fail even with the reroll. And the moment you're doing that, you don't have the ball safe at all. So what I would have done, I mean, that skeleton, Halak, has to go and cover the corner there anyway, right? Yeah. And that Tomb Guardian, who was next to the beast who uh, didn't have a tackle zone on, had to go and cover the corner as well. There's no reason to wait with that until after you've done a semi-risky move. So okay. try, and, try and make sure that if, if the stuff that has to happen can be done without any risk, make sure you do it before you do anything even remotely die rolling, actually. Okay. Right. So you're not blocking the warrior. That's fine. I would have probably blocked the rotter anyway. The the one uh, at the top, just to give you more room for next turn. If you knock him down next to your uh, your other uh, tomb guardian, then he would be next to two pro two rotters. Uh, no way, he just moved. Um, <clears throat> And it would give you more room to walk forwards because you're already kind of pressed for time. You've only got four more turns. Kenbury are not the fastest team around. Hmm. It's, it's very lucky for you that the beast went stupid again, though, because uh, you really needed the mobility that gives you for, uh, for the... Uh, Tomb Guardian on the right flank. I've paused at the start of turn five now. I okay. like the start of your turn because it lets me see exactly the situation you're dealing with. So you're going to have to two die that warrior. And um, one thing to consider is what to do if it's a push. That's often what I think, where to blitz from and what to do if it's a push. So if you blitz from directly south, then... Um, at least on a push, you have freed up your ball carrier, and he does get mobility to the north. Because I'm looking at a two die with block from the bl as a blitz on the warrior, mm -hmm. and then a two two dice without block from the uh, tomb guardians. If you make those, then your throw up can pretty much just run north and potato without any threat to him. Right? Yeah. So here's the blitz. You've chosen the angle I suggest, so that's good. You've got him down. Awesome. I'm smart. Ah, yeah. It looks like you've uh, <laughs> you got to do exactly as I suggested. Now, there is still this uh, rotter here to consider. One, two, three, four, five. Because that rotter has a three plus two plus two plus one die against you. Um, so I would have probably made a single GFI since you have a reroll, which would prevent that from happening. <coughs> Might even consider two GFIs, but a single one would already be enough. Oh, the one die fixes it. But then again, if the one die is a skull, then that just saves him the dodge. Yeah, it was a risky, but I had the reroll, so... My job is to answer uh, all kinds of questions, and um, I don't I don't get dumb questions a lot from Calf either, to be honest. So <laughs> yeah, fuck you. That's that's what There's chat was going on about. Questions. That's that's what <laughs> brought this up. <laughs> I'm not singling you out. I'm. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to ask something dumb now. Okay, do that. There's a lot of blue squares, and I've seen red squares. What the fuck uh, are those? 
the the big blue squares are uh, an indication of where um, the Nurgle warriors and the beasts of Nurgle have their uh, disturbing presence effect. I'm pausing for a moment, if you don't mind. Uh, disturbing oh. presence is a skill that is not being highlighted right now for some reason. Disturbing presence is a skill which... Can I see that in pause at all? No. Um, which uh, gives the uh, uh, opponent players a minus one to passing, intercepting, or catching when they're within three squares of that player. So all of those big, uh, um, what is it, uh, seven by seven uh, blue squares indicate the area in, within which you, ha you suffer a minus one. And, uh, oh. and it stacks. So if three of those players are near you, you suffer a minus three to catching, uh, intercepting, or passing. So Nurgle are a really good team at preventing passing plays from the opponent. Oh. So, um, Arm Devil, I'm watching your turn six right now, and it seems like you're handling this very, very well. I mean, you've got him. You've got him roughly locked down. Two, four, six. He can't reach you there. He can't really reach you there. So so far, so good, right? You've even got a got a stall secured. I hear a doubt in your voice. Me? <laughs> yes. Well, I I know what happened. So. <laughs> <laughs> true. True. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're getting tagged by that uh, rotter then? Yeah. Watch this blitz. Ugh. Ugh, it makes me so sad. Okay. I mean, you're not going to be able to stall this. You have a reroll, so you just need to one die blitz him off of you. Which is scary. Again, this would be a reason to make that one extra GFI to prevent the uh, Rotter from getting next to you. The one die's good. Obviously, you're scoring now, right? Yes. Yes. I. I mean, <laughs> I. I get pretty greedy about stalling, but this I would not have tried. No. I, I, what this, this was I like far that. too hairy, and I and I wanted at least a one or two attempts before the end, before the beginning of the second half. What's your, uh, what's your naming out. scheme, by the way? I just saw Mwadeep, and, and I'm curious about everyone else. It, it's all characters from Dune. All Dune? Cool. Yes. I hadn't, uh, I hadn't looked at the Dune, names yet. The Emperors. <laughs> <sighs> I thought I was supposed to make Calf look dumb. Oh. <laughs> That's not too hard. That was self-mockery, Calf. Pay attention. I know. <laughs> Damn it, Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. It's okay, um. I'm cuddling my kitten. Yay, kitty. I'm actually quite curious how the uh, facts video turned out. Yeah, I hope you got something usable out of it. No, yeah, me. probably. Sorry, I can't yell at her in English because she doesn't understand English. Yeah, she fair enough. And whatever language it is you're speaking, neither. She's a cat. You assume much. She totally her. understands. She understands everything, don't okay. you? Okay. Setup wise, you're defending against a two turn. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! I think you'll manage. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, the, uh, the, um, Who's got the frame right, here? The uh, pitch invasion, then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're, you're a little bit ahead of me, but I've caught up now. <laughs> yeah, so you've got plus one fame, but still. Yeah, that was... It was... it was. I remember when that happened wow. and thinking, wow, okay, so that happened. <laughs> uh, yeah, you were... I would probably be thinking, this looks really impressive, but it came a turn too early. Or yeah. two. Because if this had been the start of the second half, wow. Yeah, that would have been really nice. That would have been game, instead of just, up. okay, okay. I mean, you don't really expect Nurgle to be able to score their two-turn anyway. 
So it doesn't yeah. really change much. Do you have a bench? You do have a bench. So I, I assume you're making a nice little gang file here. Yes. Good, good. Does he have a bench? Uh, counting is hard. Two, four, six, eight, ten. No. Yeah, so the gang file is really a priority. However, I haven't seen you blitz. Is that right? No, I did blitz. Okay, sorry. Sure must have not been. Yeah. Must have been really distracted by that pitch invasion. For oh, you did. Yeah, the, I see it. The, the tomb guardian did, but he failed foul presence or whatever it was. Mm. Uh, or whatever fa foul appearance. Yes. That's the one. Yes. So you're learning, calf. Foul appearance is the one that makes people go, "Ew, I'm not touching that." And disturbing presence is the one that goes, "What's that smell? Oh, where'd the ball go?" Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. And they have they totally have with you. Okay. So with you right now. Mm -hmm. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's switch over to the second half because this was not that interesting. Oh. Anything you'd like me to focus on for the second half, Arm Devil? Um. Not really. I can't remember most of what happens other than that one dice that knocks my Tomb Guardian out. I remember all of those. <laughs> um. <laughs> But it happened in every match. Um, but other than that, no. So it's like, this team, I've had three games with this team now, and they have yet to score a casualty on any mm. player. I wish the Camry I just faced would do that, because that yes. would be awesome. <laughs> I mean, I was sat there watching that match and thinking, why can't my Camry do that? Why can't yeah. my Camry get through Armour 8? But no. Played against a, a, a necromancy team in my last game that I just lost. And that is turn, a damn sweet kick, though. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, but by turn four, he KO'd half of my team, including mm -hmm. two tomb guardians, both of my blitz row and my and my throw row. So I was just sat there thinking, well, this game's over. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I like your setup, by the way. I mean, I get I get. I might be tempted to put uh, uh, Tomb Guardians on the line just because of uh, the Nurgle are still going to struggle to to get them all down, and they're going to risk uh, turnover while they do so. And you know you've got armor nine and all, but mm -hmm. your Tomb Guardians with movement four are relatively mobile, and once they get somewhere, they're pretty stuck. And um, <clears throat> if you put them on the line, then that's usually where they're going to stay. Whereas now you get to choose where to put them after he's done his thing. But the way you've put them uh, on row two is basically acting like a free fend for your skeletons. Because he's not going to want to go and get next to them. So I like that. Ow. Those my elbows. You're allowed to talk in voice, Calf. You know that, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> Calf is still set in a hole. So later today, I'll be lowering down a basket with some lotion in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? It puts the lotion, it puts the lotion on the skin. Or else it, <laughs> exactly, oh, thank you. Oh, that, that, that's another movie <laughs> reference. Silence of the Lambs. I've actually seen that one, but I was way too little to remember it. Mentally, sorry, my cat is trying to steal my pop filter. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, easy knocking over the beast, that's nice. A uh, lot, of, lot of room to get your... Uh, uh, Guardian stuck in with a kick with a kick that deep. I'd still be wanting to send one player out back ASAP. Just one player who can um, who can threaten that ball so that he has to prioritize keeping it safe. Otherwise, he can just gradually walk up, right? Yes. 
Agreed. I think I'd okay, try good. and do that, maybe. So I would have probably assisted that beast with uh, uh, a skeleton or even with a uh, thrower. Because after the block, you're not next to him anymore anyway. And that would leave you with another um, Tomb Guardian to get stuck into his line and make it harder for him to block you off. Especially if the if um, if you have two uh, Tomb Guardians on the outside positions um, and uh, one in the middle, then it's going to be very hard for him to get enough assists against you to do reliable blocking. And given how you're also pressuring the ball from behind, uh, you can really you can really get him into an uncomfortable position where he needs to one die without block in order to do anything, and that's uh, that's a situation you uh, you really like. Yes. Don't be scared. I mean, you as long as you have the four uh, guardians, you kind of outstrength him. And on defense, outstrengthing means getting connected and forcing the opponent into risky situations, basically. Okay, that sounds good. That's good for the and defense. and then of course they break and everything goes to hell anyway. But yes. yeah, that's Kimri for you. Yeah. So I don't know what it is about the Tomb Guardians on my teams specifically. Whenever I play as Kimri, but they always get battered. They always end yeah. up either injured or KO'd or dead. That's been my experience too. But then again, they, um, I mean, they do have decay, so when they break, they break even harder. But I also feel like they're, you know, just like uh, Kislev don't feel armor 8, uh, Tomb Guardians don't feel armor 9. I guess that's also because of how you tend to position them in the kinds of places that where they will take a beating. Mm. At least I do. More than you, I think. But yeah, that's also because I want to get the most value out of their strength and the, the, the dominance that you get from that. Hmm. Their placement, I mean, the guy you hadn't moved yet is of course not ideal, but most of their placement seems quite okay. It looks a bit too easy to get a two die against Duke Leto there from the beast. Kid, what are you doing? Sorry, you're not allowed to be with me. Okay, no, I couldn't. She bit my nose. Ow! <laughs> she doesn't love me anymore. Ooh, it went dumb on you. Okay, this this is big. This is the moment where you should be able to do to take over the game. I'm looking at the start of your turn 11. Okay. Because I see an, a very easy two die on the ball where no. the ball goes um, potentially out or something. And however, you don't really have the opportunity to free up much else. So what I would probably do is do the two die you do here, then make the blitz on the ball, and then depending on where that winds up, deciding on what to do next. Okay. Mm hmm. I would have probably rerolled that one. The, yeah, should, the Blitz in hindsight, ball. I should have rerolled that instead of just taking the double push back. But I thought, well, yeah. it's a Tomb Guardian. He's got him on the uh, sidelines. It's going to yeah. be really difficult for him to get him. I on. mean, it's it's not awful per se, but it might be too easy to remove him there. But this is a this is a very very bad round of block dice, though. I mean, not yeah. much you could have done with that. At least you get the knockdown here, and then another two die with, not without block there. Oh, well, that's that then. Yeah. <laughs> I think I said those exact words as soon as that happened. <laughs> that's that then. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that actually happens a lot, I guess, when you, when you have people that you watch frequently that you also wind up taking on some of their mannerisms. Okay, yeah, he blitzes with the Pestigor. I guess that kind of makes sense. It is strength four on the blitz after all. Yeah. He doesn't need that much luck anymore now, does he? So, I'd say this looks like a draw at this point.
Well, you'd think so. Oh. <laughs> You're not losing, are you? Of course he lost. No, no, do, you, do you want the spoiler, or do you want to find no, out? No, 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 no. <clears throat> Shut the fuck up, then. <laughs> <laughs> he lost. I'm Wait, I sure. actually, I actually saw this when I opened the replay, but I didn't look at it. I'm so good at accidentally preventing spoilers on myself. Well done, sir. <laughs> I have like right, two so... turns of terrible block dice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's not much you could do here, really, is there? Ooh, is that a... That was... That was a one die blitz. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Sometimes you gotta take the risk. Well, I mean, it was a 50 50 <laughs> dodge. It's not actually as bad as. Um... Don't tell me you make this. Nah, you don't make this. Nah. Nurgle got this, right? I'm not spoiling it, you just told me you didn't want the spoilers. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, this, is, this is my way of doing commentary. I see, okay. I really don't want you to answer my questions. Okay, I shall remember that <laughs> I will never answer your questions. <laughs> yes. Didn't you hear me say, don't tell me? I literally <laughs> said, don't tell me you've got this. Oh, yeah, that's a point you could say. Bye-bye, <laughs> Thrower. Yeah, poor Thrower. Into the crowd. Fortunately, no injury. I doubt it'll matter much, but... How many turns? Well, the, yeah, he yeah, does have only three turns left, and his Pestic War is currently down. You've got quite a bit of strength here, I suppose. Got him served, yeah. yeah. Even when I surf, guys, I don't get injuries. Just it's fine. Care. It's never fine. I want to kill people, damn it! No, I mean, it's it's a second hand second half surf. The goal is to get him out of the game for this drive. Come on, you want to win, don't you? I do want to win, yes. I want to win By all By killing the everyone. Yes. Including the most cancer ward. So, yes. the chain push, I guess the... Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Getting the uh, Pesty Gore further away from the ball. It does free him up a little, but... it Then again, it ties up the Rotter, who's also agility 3, and who is closer... Uh, because he has, uh, he's not prone, so he actually has more movement to do stuff with anyway. Okay. Oh, this armor break is really, really bad. You did not need kinds to go down there. Yep, I did not need kinds to go down there, and then also to be able to <laughs> mm, Regen didn't matter anymore. Oh, oh, that is beautiful. That helps. <laughs> Lovely. That, 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 helps. <laughs> that gives you a lot of initiative. Um, first thing I see is you've got this Tomb Guardian Shadan free. Yeah, there he goes. Okay. Not sh I don't think that's the way I would have liked to use him. Why did you want that Blitz Referee so much? I can't remember. Because I would much rather have the Strength 5 near where the ball is. And the Blitz Ra keeping that uh, uh, Warrior busy. I, than to I have think the Blitz it was that I wanted to put the Tackle Zone on the ball and that he was never going to get this. So the idea was to blitz the guy uh, free, so he could come down and pick up the ball. Uh, not pick up the ball, but put a tackle zone on the ball. Hmm. Because 
the, what I thought you you might do, uh, it would have required a GFI though, is uh, blitz this uh, rotter here. Mm. Uh, what's his name? I can't see. Nick Raging. Blitz him um, with a chain push. All right. Which would actually uh, put the uh, Pestigore behind him in the corner. Then you do the Surf against the uh, the other warrior. And oh. then move the blitz the other Blitzer around uh, to secure the ball. I think you had uh, you had quite a few options like that. That would have been better. Then again, the chain push doesn't even add that much. Simply getting him next to where the uh, where the ball is, where the uh, where the action is, would have been enough. But <clears throat> he is down to two turns to do stuff, and uh, the draw doesn't look secure exactly. Especially if he keeps failing pickups. Oh. <sighs> can you free up this guy? Yes, you can. So what I see... Uh, yeah, that's what I saw. Good, good. One, two, three, four, two, three. Wait, wait, you're blocking with the Tomb Guardian? What? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Back to the start of that turn. Oi, back. Why isn't it... Uh, too far. Sorry. So the start of your turn 15. What you really want is you want to get at that Pestigore, right? That's his only touchdown threat. Yes. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Pretty much. Yeah. So the only person who can reliably blitz that is Duke Leto. With two GFIs. Which means I would have blocked with Raban there and gotten rid of Black Pussycat Man. Well, obviously, actually stood up uh, Count Finring first. Calf, are you doing the laughing thing again? Because <laughs> you need to turn up your mic a bit. We can't hear you. <clears throat> <laughs> She's giggling to herself because she heard something and in her head it meant something else. <laughs> Have you, seen, have you ever seen Blackadder? Blackadder, where, the, where they come over and they're having that night of drinking and there's the one guy that says, Ooh, that sounds dirty, doesn't it? Sounds a little bit like bum! <laughs> and it doesn't matter what anybody says, everything sounds like bum. <laughs> so whenever I hear cat giggling, uh, all I hear in my head is, Ooh, that was naughty, wasn't it? <laughs> Sounds a little bit like bum. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, <thank> you. <laughs> He's not even doing a Brian voice. <laughs> Don't cry, Kev. Men snälla vänner. Oh, you scared my cat. <sighs> Hi, oh, Kitty. <laughs> she so, can't hear um, you. <laughs> next play Devil Arm game, Morn. Are you ready for your last bit of feedback? Yes, please. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, what I would have done is I would have uh, let Raban uh, give it to the Black Pussy and then have <laughs> Duke <Lito. laughs> And then, <laughs> shush. I'm talking. I'm teaching here, damn it! I'm let me just let me do my job already. Jeez, woman. <laughs> and then <laughs> Okay. And then we have <laughs> And then we have Duke Leto Blitz. I'm just gonna keep going. Pretend <laughs> To have Duke Leto blitz the ball carrier uh, with two GFIs. That would have been my play. <sighs> so long as I, I let the black pussy have it, that was the yeah, main thing to take away from that turn. Yes, make sure to give it to me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
sounds a bit like bum. <laughs> <laughs> See, d doesn't like me anymore. This no, wait, he likes this better than when it's yes. just you. Sorry, I, I, I read You're it. You're dyslexic, I know. I, I'm dyslexic. Yes. Yeah. What was that about this? <laughs> oh, he what? pushed him the wrong way, didn't he? Oh, he gave that. He could have gotten that with a push, but he pushed him the wrong way. Needing a GFI that was he didn't. Ah, oh, that's that's some hardcore punishment right there, Nuffle. Uh, wait, sorry for triggering you there, Calf. I should have guessed yeah. that. <laughs> you can't say hardcore, Calf. Hardcore punishing, <laughs> even. Yes. Yeah. That that one was actually accidental. I mean. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm sorry, well, did I get it in your eye? It was an accident. <laughs> God. <sighs> God can't save you now. So you try? This is uh this is mighty interesting. <clears throat> Thanks for uh for this, both of you. Um no problem. I hope you uh, you managed to get something out of that uh, out of that feedback, uh, Warmblade, Arm yes. Devil, Next Level Games. Yes, I, I got uh, I got some good advice there, especially when Excellent. it came to that rotter whose name shall never be repeated again. <coughs> I, I, I know that it, next time I do it, I have to give him a good pounding. <laughs> I'm I'm not even. I hate you. <laughs> No, I could I could get used to having you around actually. Oh, I, like, I like how I like how you trigger calf. It's amazing. Oh. It's so easy. All you have to do is mention the word bum and she's, she's not. <laughs> See? It's easy. Uh Calf, I don't know if you're if you're paying attention to chat since you're not watching the game or anything. Um but there's a request from Sebastian out here. <laughs> No. I will not sing. But you sing on your stream. I'm pretty sure yeah. there's clips of it. I, I do I do my talkie what I'm doing singing. I can't do that. It has to come naturally. That's mm. why I find that's the best way to do it. Come naturally. Mm. I'm I'm looking I'm looking through your clips right now. Jesus seeing if Jesus I can Christ. find something. There's probably a singing one there, yes. Yeah, otherwise we'll just do the uh, the mic book. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Can you stop sharing the silly clips people take of me? Never. See, that's why I like to have it there. Calf, please sing for <laughs> us, says Biog. No, he says sign for us. Well, uh, oh, yes, yes. you guys? Oh, wait, that's my clips. My bad. Hey, hey, hey. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I suck at this. Nice way to promote yourself on your own channel, Wait, dude. Why? Why does this? Oh, I was looking for a clips of the. Um, yes, I was looking for a clips of the Batman, but then I got distracted by stuff. Then you got distracted by real Batman. It that does not cease to scare me. <laughs> That that's. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. So anyway, um, <laughs> if you guys uh, uh, enjoy hearing this voice, then do give Mornblade Arm Devil a follow. Yes, follow me. <laughs> you stream too? Well, I used to a long time ago. But Hence not for the a while next now, level games bit, I guess. Yeah. And if you enjoy this voice, or you know. The, Stuff she says, I guess. Uh, <laughs> stuff she says. If you, if you enjoy the other voice, or, you know, the, the things that she says and the stuff that she laughs about. No, seriously, It's really no. easy to trigger her. All you have to do is get on chat and just say, Hey, Kaf. Bum. Yeah. Bum. <laughs> See? It is kind of funny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Repetition works. Yes, apparently. Yes. Yes. Right. You just gotta space out the strokes. Could you shut up? What stroke? Guys, guys, 
if if you <laughs> if you enjoy Calf's personality, go and give her a follow. <laughs> yeah, let's call them that. <laughs> the hand gesture was accidental, I swear. Yes! <laughs> no, you shrugs <laughs> land. <laughs> Rich, beautiful, <laughs> she's got huge tracks of land. The curtains? <laughs> no, not the curtains, lad. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Why is it that every time I go anywhere, everything becomes lewd? Must be my personality. Well, go follow me if you want to. You don't have to. Oh, yeah. This is the, oh, wait, I'm not a boob streamer clip. That one was nice. <laughs> Oh, that's without sound, right? Yeah, unfortunately it is. So but I've linked it in chat anyway. All right. <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap things up. Um, Mornblade, this was fun. Also, thank you for all the robots. Those are very much appreciated. You're welcome. <laughs> Everyone else, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> I had a great time. Calf, thanks for <laughs> filling in the gap, I guess. <laughs> 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 no problem. Thanks, thanks for being the creamy center of our bearded sandwich. Oh, Jesus, just cut the stream right now. <laughs> I, I had a mouthful of water when you said that. I had to work so hard not to... Not to break my monitor. Okay, yeah, I'm going to cut things off here before we get banned. <laughs> Thank you, one bite. <laughs> This community. <laughs> Aren't you glad you invited me on? <laughs> yes, I am. Actually. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. Uh, I guess I could. Uh, I could probably. Hey, Calf, you want to see if I want to host someone or something? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's your job, isn't Jesus. it? Jesus, are you gonna make me work for this? <sighs> Let's see here, is there anyone playing? Is there anyone we like? No, oh, yeah. oh, shut up, shush, shush, I heard myself. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.